All right, hey there, Proxians. This is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Crown Tundra DLC. And yes, guys, we are hanging out with my buddy Marshadow here. Uh, because if you guys didn't miss out in the last episode, we actually went and uh, basically was trying to search for all these different footprints scattered around uh, this whole entire place around Crown Tundra. Uh, I believe there is these things called grassland footprints that we also had to find these certain type of blue footprints, and also too, we also had to search for these other type of footprints. I think they're called cavern footprints or something like that. Uh, and uh, we have to search for all these different individual footprints because I don't know if that is going to lead onwards to maybe uh, to something with the legendary birds or something here for Crowd Tundra. I don't know. We'll have to find out here in this episode, hopefully. Now, also too, guys, you guys are wondering probably why I'm all the way back here over at the over at this town portion part over here is that is because uh, we actually got ourselves up to a hundred percent of the grassland footprint. So that is going to be the first thing that we're going to be doing here for today, and uh, we're going to go speak on over to Sonia. Maybe she has something interesting that we have to go and look for. Maybe it has something to do with the uh, with the legendary birds. But uh, also too, hopefully, you guys are having yourself a good Monday. You should be seeing a uh, a Mario Sunshine Let's Play also happening as well. So without further ado, let's go and do this thing. So let's go and hunt down uh, for wherever Sonya's house is. I don't know if this is her house or if if there if I have to go to another place, but I think this is her, her uh, cottage up here or whatever her house is here. So Prox, how's it, uh, how's it going? Uh, gathering evidence. Uh, well, about the evidence, we actually have 100%, so I want to go and check your progress, Prox, so let me see what you found so far. So, down of the Iron Wheel Pokemon is at 30%, we have the 6% of the Cavern is, uh, of the Cavern Pokemon. Well, the Cavern Pokemon with those footprints are actually located, uh, near where that Moltres, uh, where that Moltres is, because, uh, if you guys remember back from the trailer, uh, or, or I think it was from the trailer, um, uh, you're able to see, like, this big gigantic tree, well, we can actually go over to that place and that's where most of the footprints are going to be located at so data for the grassland pokemon is at 100 percent so yes we actually have the grassland pokemon so you've got 100 percent of the data needed to track for the grassland pokemon so let's see what type of interesting thing is going to be here so this should be enough data for us to pin down where it usually lives so if it so if i feed all this data into my trusty pokemon finder it's searching of the energy signatures oh well, hopefully it's going to be something good and it's found a matching pokemon uh, the grassland Pokemon uh, can be found in the giant's bed. Interesting. So you'll finally get to come face to face with the legendary Pokemon that we've been searching for. Best of luck, Prox. So giant's bed, huh? Now I think we've seen, or I think we've been around two giant's bed before. But uh, while we're doing our little adventuring as well, we'll try and figure out where that place is. Uh, but yeah, so here's Frostpoint Field. So this is not Giant's Bed. So Giant's Bed, or uh, the the Giant's Bed has to be all the way down uh, down this way, where probably where that Reggie Steel building is. But if you guys remember about that whole Reggie Steel building or ancient uh, ancient uh, area that's over there, um, last time uh, we actually came across to that door, it said that uh, we need to have some sort of piercing sound. Well, off recording, I actually figured out on what that piercing sound is all about. And I never knew uh, that you can actually do this before in, in this Pokemon game. I think I've done it probably once before, and I just kind of misclicked by mistake. But uh, you can actually whistle in this game. And uh, this is actually going to be pretty helpful because this is how we're going to be able to go out and capture out Reggie Steel. And hopefully we can do it because uh, I'm pretty certain that I think Reggie Gigas is probably going to be in this game. So I, I, I'm pretty much certain that we may probably have to try and grab as every single Reggie's that we can possibly grab on the face of Crown Tundra. And hopefully uh, see what's going to happen there. Uh, so yeah, Reggie Steel, we have to go and grab him. So let's go and use our whistle. And that should open up the door. Nice. So let's go ahead up here. So before we actually go and get started, I'm actually going to use our uh, buddy uh, Lionheart here for the time being because we actually have Cosmic Power, which I think that also boosts up our special attack or maybe everything. Well, well not everything, but I'm not too entirely certain on what Cosmic Power does with the stats. I know it does something with the special defense, but I don't know if it does anything else. But if that, but if it can boost up special attack, that would actually be pretty nice because then at least we can actually uh, use Zen Headbutt a little bit harder. But hopefully we don't really uh, knock it out. But I really love how in this place, with with this whole Reggie Steel going on, that it actually has some of the uh, classic Generation Three uh, music type stuff here, but but kind of a little bit more uh, re-enhanced a little bit. So the huge Pokemon statue is looking down at you. So 
it looks like we have to go and try to figure out how to do this puzzle. And this puzzle kind of reminds me of like the Pokemon Diamond puzzle a little bit, because because I, I know that you have to like walk around all the different uh, buttons here to literally uh, turn this guy on. So we can turn this guy on and then turn this last one on out here. And what is this going to do? So something changed in the air. So that means I believe we are going to be interacting with Reggie Steel. So. Let's see, a steely power is emanating from the Pokemon statue. Do you want to check it out? Of course we should. Let's go and grab this legendary Pokemon. Now we actually do have a Master Ball, but I am not going to use that until we actually go and encounter out one of the Galarian birds. So I'm going to make sure to hold on to that just for a little bit longer. I know that we actually have two Master Balls from before, but we had to go and use the one, I think, what was it, on Zashian or something like that from before, which it kind of sucks because I wish I should have been able to uh, uh, save that Master Ball because I'm pretty certain I think Zashian is like 100% catch rate or something like that because, because I believe it's a storyline Pokemon, so. Let's go and set up with a Cosmic Power. I want to see what this actually does because I, I, I know it's been a while since I used Cos Pas Cosmic Power, but I don't know if it boosts up anything else. Got special defense. So it's so it's just basically our defense and special defense. So I'm fine with that. So at least one cosmic power, like we we will be just set with that. Um, let's go and use out a Zen head, but let's see how much damage that we can do out here. I know it's not going to probably do a lot, but I just want to at least try and get a critical. So setting up with all these flash cannons. Well, we're a steel type, but we can take the hits. So nothing to worry about here. I don't really want to have to use all my Zen headbutts, but it should be alright because I believe we have Peony's house, which I think we can actually uh, get healed up a little bit if we want to take a nap or something. So let's set up another Zen headbutt here. So it's a good thing that this Registeel is basically setting up with all these uh, iron defenses here for the time being, because at least uh, we don't have to worry about uh, hopefully trying to knock it out. Now, I don't know if any of these Reggies still get their explosions because I don't know if trying to grab all these Reggies has to do something with the storyline with all the other, uh, with, with the, uh, with the other, uh, two new, uh, Reggies that are going to be out here. And, uh, I, uh, I guess, uh, for the comment question of the day, speaking about, uh, the different Reggies, uh, what, uh, what is your, uh, favorite Reggie, uh, from the new games do you guys like? Do you guys like Reggie Alecki, or do you guys like Reggie, uh, uh, um, Reggie Drago? Uh, I was almost about to, almost, uh, almost about to, uh, basically say Reggie Dre Crow, but, uh, but no, that's my partner on my, uh, <laughs> Uh, well, Dracrow is basically our, our, our uh, co-op partner uh, for the Cage Lock. And if you guys haven't uh, seen that, I, I recommend you guys going and checking that out. If you guys are interested on the Cage Lock series, it happens on Wednesdays and Thursdays. I believe we are still continuing it. Uh, we just came back uh, from a long, uh, for a long hiatus for a little while. I don't know uh, for whatever reason. Uh, I, I don't know wh uh, what the whole deal of that was, but it's all good. It's all said and done with, and we're still going out there and... Uh, Trying to get those last few videos out here for you guys so that, uh, okay, hopefully this Zemeth Headbutt is not going to be a critical. Whatever you do, please do not let it be a critical. Now, I don't know, do I have any Quick Balls? Because, like, if I can use one of those, that'd be pretty nice. Now, we're almost out of Headbutt, or, or uh, yeah, we're almost out of Zed Headbutt, so... Hopefully this can take it down to red, yes. Okay, so good job, Flinch couldn't move. So that means that we are in a spot to actually throw out one of these balls. We actually got a heal ball and a dive ball. Uh, we actually have a few nest balls. Um, let's throw out a tire ball. I know that our tire balls have been working a little bit well so far. So let's see. Can there be something out here? Come on. One. No. Fine. Just break out of the dang ball. You annoying Reggie Steel. It's too bad that it's not shiny because if it was shiny, I would be naming this uh, after my own Registeel that one of my friends gave to me back in uh, back in Generation Four, and I named it Blue. What some uh, that was some good times. I wish I brought him over. Damn man, how how annoying is this dude? Like I want to try and like use another like I would try and want to use. Another Zen headbutt, but I, if I try to do that, I just hope that it doesn't get it to a critical. So I kind of have it in the red right now for for the time being, and unfortunately, I don't think I have any type of other status effects or anything. So unfortunately, that's not gonna 
be any type of help. Okay. So at least those moves are not really effective all that too much. Oh! Okay, never mind. We actually do have two Master Balls. I thought I actually used it on Zastian. Okay, never mind. You know what? Let's actually save on those two Master Balls because since we do have two of those, I may probably want to use those for the, uh, for the, uh, for, uh, maybe one of the other, uh, new Reggies. But if it has to get to that point, I may probably have to throw out a Master Ball at this, at this Reggie Steel if it's going to be super annoying. Because I don't know how many balls I'm going to have left after this. Come on, you pesky annoying dude. Get in the dang ball. Ah, it only shakes once. That sucks. Man, normally my, my legendary catches are somewhat pretty nice, but for some reason it's just not. Alright, here comes out an Ultra Ball. It's an Ultra Ball. Come on, it has to work. What? These, rig th these rigged freaking Pokeballs, dude. Alright, how about Heavy Ball? Can I throw out a Heavy Ball at this guy? Come on. Let it be something. One. Two. Three. Oh! And we got it with a heavy ball, man. That's what I'm talking about. That is what we're talking about. So thank you, Kurt. Thank you for those Pokeballs, man. Those things do come in handy because let me tell you, that love ball or that friend ball that I got... With, from, from when I was doing that in the Crossword battle back in my vanilla um, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Oh, man. That was like the last ball that I ever caught, and, and, and it actually worked. <laughs> right on the money. Well, you know what? If you, Since you're not blue, I'm just going to call you silver. But, uh... It's all right. I may probably bring uh, I may probably bring over my my shiny Reggie Steel because I know that I'm allowed to bring on over my uh, my uh, shiny uh, Heat Ran, which that's actually pretty nice because you are allowed to bring that over because I believe now Pokemon Home is now activated after all the maintenance uh, issues that uh, was going on. So far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant stone sleeps. On the temple's door, there are strange words. Let them on, change one. The door remains shut. Okay. So yeah, those are all the different uh, Reggie's uh, stuff that we see. So those are for the new uh, Reggie's, of course. That is for both the Reggie Aleki and also the Reggie Drago. So it looks like we could actually... I don't know if that temple allows us to just capture only one of those. Uh, only one of those Pokemon. Or are we allowed to capture out both? It seems a little bit uh, interesting out here. But oh, it's Peony here. Haven't, uh, haven't hurt yourself or anything, have you? Come again? You got and met the steel giant Reggie Steel? Ah, smashing work, Chief. Now take that energy and go catch the others. Keep up the good work. Well, we do have Reggie Steel, and I and you know what? Let's actually go ahead and save because I don't want to forget about that. All right, so we're all good, and let's get the heck on out of here. So welcome to Giant's Bed. So this is where apparently the legendary Pokemon is supposed to be here. Now, is it supposed so? So, does this Pokemon just magically pop up somewhere, or do we have to just run around in the grass and just try to see where this Pokemon is going to be? Well, uh, we got something over here. Got ourselves a Max Potion. Nice. Get a little bit of some, uh, some healing items back. Well, that's not no legendary Pokemon. How am I supposed to spot out a legendary Pokemon here? Hmm. Interesting. Well, you know what? Before we actually go and uh, do anything around here in the dry bed, I want to go and search for some of the uh, some of the uh, cavern type uh, footprints that we do have to find out here. I wonder what else can I find? The heck is that? It's like it's just popping back and forth. What the heck is that? Is that like an ink or something? <gasps> what is this? Oh, okay, never mind. It's a hat room. Okay, I didn't know what the heck what was going on with that Pokemon because it was just teleported back and forth. Huh. Interesting. I just love how Karotudra, you could actually have the following Pokemon back. It's so cool. Well, actually... Uh... Yeah, let's just leave Lionheart out in the party. I would like to heal him up, though. Uh, hold on for one quick second here. Okay, all good. 
Oh yes, and also too, I also totally forgot. Uh, if you guys want to have yourself a shiny metal tan, all you guys have to do is just subscribe to the channel, comment on the comment question of the day, and also too, guys, uh, make sure to also uh, while you're uh, doing the comment question of the day, is to make sure you put in hashtag Crown Tundra, because at the very end of this series, I will be announcing who is going to be the winner that is going to get my level one shiny melt tan. If you guys are interested on in grabbing it, because uh, I actually got it from a trade from someone, and uh, he actually gave me uh, two Pokemon instead of one, so I actually have a Mel Metal and also a shiny melt tan at the same time. Uh, and also, too, I also have a Marshadow as well, but I'm not going to really use my Marshadow for it. Well, I, I, I may probably use to use it for the time being, but I haven't seen any other footprints around here. And I do want to go and head on over to where that tree is because I remember seeing it somewhere from before. And that is where we're going to be heading on over to because we actually have to go and pick up the rest of the other footprints if we want to get ourselves 100%. Uh, uh, hundred percent on the uh, cavern footprints because we have to search for whatever this cavern Pokemon is all about. Oh man, there's a Sylveon out here. Pretty cool. Now I think it's down here, isn't it? Like it's near like some sort of like water, uh, water uh, type edge thing. What the heck is going on here? Okay, Aerodactyl. <laughs> Aerodactyl was a little bit glitched out. It was just spinning around like crazy. Oh man, there's a Mimikyu just chilling out here. Oh man, there's no any there's man, there is no footprints around here that is blue. And I literally searched everywhere, high and low, even off recording I tried to search for those blue footprints, and there's like nowhere to be found. But there is some water here, and I believe this is where we last left off searching for all those footprints. And I still don't see any though. Okay, well I guess Lionheart, we have to go out into the uh into this little lakeside here and uh, let's start pedaling all the way over to our next area now I went over here before and I think I found a TM or something uh, lurking around this side and I think I just found a Feebas is that a Feebas? where the heck did it go? oh it's a Magikarp okay never mind of course they wouldn't have a Feebas here because it's only a 3% catch rate to find one of those guys just lurking around yeah, I think there was like a TM or something around here which you could find and uh, I don't know what the TM was, but I know that I found Shadow Ball or something. Maybe that could have probably been it, but But here we are. This is Ballhammer, uh, Ball Ballmer Lake. This is where we could actually go and find uh, the cavern footprints around here And I think I found uh, so yeah, we found only the six percent of them But we could probably still find a little bit more if we actually keep on exploring a little bit now, I think I also did a uh, search uh, for, uh, I think I also found another Registeel Temple, as, or, or, or not Registeel, another Reggie Temple, which I believe that was for uh, Reggie Alecki and Reggie uh, Drago, which we should probably go and check that out as well. I just have the Registeel on the mind ever since that we got that whole Pokemon now. Oh, nice. We also got ourselves a Dawnstone. Now, actually, speaking about the Dawnstone, I actually did pick up a Frostlass off recording, and uh, that was pretty nice. It's been a while since I had a frost last uh, anywhere on any of my teams before. So at least we got one in the PC box. Okay, so far I have not found any other footprints around here. They they must be like really really hard to find. And uh, for these cavern foot uh, yeah, for these uh, cavern type footprints, they are a little bit tricky. I think they're like somewhat like this and you just have to search for these like little black dots. And uh yeah, I hope we can find more of them. I guess we'll search around this big gigantic circle, uh, this big gigantic rock, because you never know what may probably be uh, lurking about behind here. Ah, of course. Yes, there's still some more stuff. Nice. 12%. Oh, man, we're getting up there. Oh, yeah, and always make sure to always go and check behind the, uh, some of the uh, different of those, uh, of those, uh, oh, I, f I forget what those called. The, the Dynamax, uh, uh, battles Okay, what the heck any Footprints around here. Ah, here we go. Got a footprint down here So that's very probably tell me that over here. Ooh, metronome what? Oh What the heck is this? A mi uh, oh my god, it's an Eevee Okay, nice you can find Eevees here Well we don't really need an Eevee. I, I, I'm fine. I'm fine for what we have. 
but I would like to go and explore some of this uh, some of this lakeside stuff but oh man oh yeah um, we're gonna have some pretty big torrential thunderstorms happening in my area out here for today and uh, from what my grandma was telling me that it's gonna be pretty bad so if you hear any type of loud thunder that's going on right now that's from the torrential storm that is happening <laughs> Um, but we should probably, uh, head on over to that island. And how am I supposed to do that? Is there, like, a little, uh, pathway that I can probably take? Well, let's just go around this whole entire section because we could probably find a whole bunch of footprints if we keep on exploring, uh, a little bit more. There is some stuff over here, though. That seems a little bit interesting to go and check out. Watch for the Tyrantrum that's here. Or, or, or uh, not, not Tyrantrum, Tyrant. Anything with black hooves. Do I see anything with that? I know that we've been down that way before. Uh, oh, well, there's a Tyrantrum. Oh, man, he looks a little bit too scary. Come on, there has to be at least some sort of footprints around here. Come on now. There we go. 18%. Wow. Oh, here we go. We got some more. Let's keep on following these footprints. Nice. So we got a little bit more, but we just have to keep on continuing around this whole entire uh, big, big section out here. Oh, here we go. Wow, that was actually a little bit hard to find right there. That was, that was like, like deep within around that whole entire uh, little grass part there. Just look how beautiful this place is. Just look how big that tree is. Oh, God. Uh, oh, what the heck? I didn't realize... Uh, that bolter was going to be jumping out of nowhere at us. Jeez, man. Calm down. Alright. Let's just run on out of here. Okay. So, we'll just keep on running straight from here. See if there's any uh, footprints, which we do see. Wow. Okay. So, it seems like uh, the footprints got over here. Anything behind Tyrantrum? I do not see that. Oh, wait, hold on. I think we got some footprints. Hold on. Nice, 30%. We're getting up there. 32. Oh, I do see some down below us. So, I think that's where we need to go and hop on into the... Uh... Oh, let's see. Is there anything around here? No, no footprints. Oh, here we go. Here's some footprints, though. So. Nice. Pick up all these guys. And uh, if anybody knows where any of those other blue footprints are, because I would like to try and figure out where they are, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have already got your 100% on those already too. Because I'm still on the hunt to grab as many footprints as I can. Uh, what the heck? Oh, it's another Bolton. These Pokemon just keep on running out of nowhere, man. Wow, we're already 23 minutes in just searching for these footprints already. But you know what? At least I'm pretty happy that we got ourselves a Reggie already. So, I'm not all that too worried about, like, if we didn't do a whole lot of progress for right now. I would like to go ahead on over to where that Reggie, uh, where the Reggie Alecki and the Reggie Drago are. Maybe we actually do need to find all the different Reggies first before we actually go and grab those guys. Maybe that's what we may probably have to do here. Oh, here we go. No, no footprints, but there is a bottom part. Have we ever been? I don't think we ever been uh, around this side before. Well, I found more Eevees. Uh, oh my god. Oh, here we go. We got ourselves a TM here. Oh man, look at this. Got this random rock here, but we got a substitute. Hmm. Not the not the greatest of moves, but it's somewhat a, a little bit nice if you don't want to get get a get a big strong hit. You can still uh, you can basically still uh, not have to worry about uh, um, basically having to die or something like that. Here we go, forty eight percent already. So I think that's basically all the footprints here in this part. I don't really see any more. So let's go and head back up here and we'll, uh, maybe there's something behind this tree. Anything around here? Oh, yes, there is. 
50% already. Oh man, get out of here, you. More bolts just keep on jumping out at me. Nope, not today. Bye bye. Oh, nice. A pee pee up as well. Oh no. <coughs> mm. Oh man, I slipped the guy into my throat. Okay, run away. All right, so let's just uh, head back up here. So that's pretty nice. At least now we're at 50% uh, with all these different uh, cavern uh, footprints. But still missing all those blue ones, though. So we come down this way. I remember that there was something down here. So let's go see what this aisle is all about before we end off this episode. There at least has to be some footprints down here, man. They would have just put this little island here for nothing. Or maybe they did. I don't know. I haven't seen anything out here yet. Huh. Somebody was having a campfire or something down here. Energy ball. Nice. Huh. So no footprints at all, huh? Well, that's strange. Normally, a little hit of something like that would have probably had some sort of some sort of footprint in there. But we still got a lot more exploration around this tree side. Oh man, there's a whole bottom part down here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we already went down that way already. Oh, here we go. Nice, fifty-six percent. Got some extra ones. I guess we'll just keep on following it all the way up here. What is this, man? Oh my god, here we go. I think this is what the trailer basically showed us here. With all the different, uh, Galarian, uh, legendary birds. Wow. Those are some really crazy fruit. And there's Galarian Moltres. Oh man, that doesn't sound too friendly. Oh, there's Gloria Zapdos out here. Oh man, watch out. But we also can't forget about the last one. Gloria and Articuno. I have to say, this cutscene is actually pretty badass. Hmm. And then I guess they go to their different, uh, I guess they go back to their different areas where we can go and find them then. So yeah, Articuno is all the way at the very top of that snow area. So we have to go ahead there pretty soon. Oh, we got something. Probably it's Peony again. Oh, it's me, Peony. Listen, I wanted to ask you something. Hang on, Chief. There's breaking news on the telly. They're saying dodgy bird Pokemon are popping up left and right. There's this pointy feather one in the wild area, plus a fiery looking one in the Isle of Armor. And this fancy graceful one is apparently flying around Crowd Tundra. Would it be something if they turned out to be the bird Pokemon that I wrote a clue about? Hmm. If that were the case, I think I'll call this expedition something like... So it looks like we are going to be heading back to Crowd Tundra. A legendary tree of a legendary three. That's a pretty nice good title. So now that I've gone and also make a, a completely forgot what I called you for in the first place. Well, life's too short and too sweet small stuff. So to achieve. So you drive down the cursed ass of the legendary clue three. So here we go. The bird of the legendary Pokemon. The sun reaches Zenith. The bird of the orange dashed off to the wild area. So we already know where that's going to be. Uh, the bird of the black flew off to the Isle of Armor. And the bird of purple set across to the crown tundra. Well, I'm actually going to use both of those two Master Balls uh, for the Glorian bird. So we only have two choices. So what am I going to go for? 
Am I gonna go for a Gloria Zapdos or Gloria Naracuno or Gloria Maltrace? I have no idea. Really? Is there no footprints around here? There should be. There should at least be some footprints around here before I end off this episode. What the heck? Normally something this big would probably actually have to at least have some sort of footprints around here. Huh. They're not even on any of the far end sides over here? Maybe. Nope. I guess not. But hey, got ourselves a TM though. Pick up this. Brave Bird. Ooh, nice. Cool. Alright, so I guess what I'll do here, guys, is end off this episode for today. I still will be uh, looking out uh, for the different uh, footprints that I would like to find. Uh, we may probably also head to that little case section. Now, I believe there was a case section that we did see before actually making our way uh, to this place and yeah, it's just right on over here. So maybe in the next episode We'll do a little bit more uh, deep dive in and uh, head on over to uh, to this uh, case section. Oh my god Is that another uh, Gigantic some maxing Pokemon or something over there? That's gonna be crazy Okay, but anyways, uh, I'll end off uh, this episode here for today uh, Don't forget about the comment question of the day if you guys want to be entered into uh, into uh, into a chance of winning the level one shiny Meltan and uh, I'll see you guys then and ooh, there we go got another one. Hey, uh, and I'll see you guys then and peace